The boy possessed a fascination that promised to propel him to worldwide fame, all thanks to a particular river. Drawn to it irresistibly, he would slip away from home whenever the opportunity arose, disappearing at odd hours and staying away for extended periods. Concerned, his father eventually resolved to track his movements. Upon discovering the truth about the river's contents, he wasted no time in alerting the authorities. Brandon Brevis had always been a curious child. His parents, Harry and Sally Brevis, had grown accustomed to their son's endless, insatiable thirst for adventure. They encouraged his explorations, believing it would lead to a more fulfilling life for their son. Harry, a mechanic in the small town of Willow Grove, had always been the hands-on type, while Sally, a librarian, was well-versed in the world of books. Together, they instilled in Brandon a strong sense of curiosity and wonder from a young age. Brandon was just like any other kid in Willow Grove. He loved spending his days exploring the rivers, climbing trees, and throwing stones. But there was one river that was really special to him. It was the start of an amazing adventure. One sunny day in May, Brandon and his pet dog Rocky were walking through the woods. Brandon saw a river he'd never noticed before. It was smaller than the others, and it had a strange shimmer on its surface. Brandon was curious, so he went closer and touched the water. It felt warm, unlike any other river he touched. They spent the whole day exploring around the river, but when it started getting dark, Brandon knew it was time to go home. That night, as he lay in bed, Brandon couldn't help but think about the river. The next morning, he woke up early, grabbed his backpack and Rocky, and set out once again to find the river. But this time, when they arrived at the river, something was different. The water was no longer warm, and the peculiar shimmer was gone. Brandon was puzzled by the change, but his curiosity got the better of him. As the day wore on, the river remained an enigma. That evening, as he returned home to his parents, Brandon's mind raced with questions. Over the next few weeks, Brandon visited the river as often as he could. Meanwhile, Harry and Sally began to notice their son's frequent trips to the river. Harry decided to broach the subject with his son one evening after dinner. Brandon, your mom, and I have noticed that you've been spending a lot of time down by the river lately. Is there something going on that you'd like to talk about? Harry asked, trying to sound casual. Brandon hesitated for a moment, not wanting to reveal the true reason behind his visits. Oh, I've just been hanging out with Rocky, he replied. We like exploring the woods and playing by the water. It's a great way to pass the time. Harry nodded, accepting his son's explanation, but not entirely convinced. All right, just make sure you're home before dark and be careful, okay. Brandon agreed. For a while, he managed to keep his visits to the river a secret, but soon he found himself sneaking out of the house at odd hours. One day, as Harry was working in his garage, he couldn't help but notice that Brandon was gone again. Harry was still concerned about his son's increasingly secretive behavior. Harry decided it was time to find out what was really happening at the river. The trail led Harry to the edge of the river just as the last light of day was fading. He hid behind a tree, waiting to see what his son was up to. He watched Brandon approach the water, his eyes scanning the surface with a mix of anticipation and wonder. Harry emerged from his hiding spot, making his presence known. Startled, Brandon turned to face his father, a look of guilt etched on his face. Dad, I, I didn't know you were here, he stammered, trying to come up with an explanation for his secretive behavior. Harry raised a hand to silence his son, a sad smile on his face. Brandon, I'm not here to scold you. I want to understand what's going on, and if there's something we need to face together, then that's what we'll do. Relieved, Brandon shared his observations with his father, explaining the strange changes in the river that he had witnessed over the past few months. As they stood there, the sun disappeared below the horizon, casting the forest into darkness. To their amazement, as the darkness enveloped them, the river began to glow again. It was a subtle, ethereal light that seemed to emanate from the water itself casting an almost otherworldly glow upon the surrounding landscape. Brandon noticed something stirring beneath the surface. He pointed it out to his father, and together they watched as a salamander emerged from the water, its body shimmering with the same ethereal light as the river. They soon realized that the salamander was no ordinary creature. It seemed to have a special ability that immediately explained the strange glow in the water. It was an ability to harness sunlight and store it within its body, allowing it to exude the light at will creating the breathtaking glow that filled the river. As they observed the creature, they understood 
that it was the source of the river's mysterious allure and the reason behind its unpredictable changes. The father and son do spent hours watching the salamander. However, as the night wore on, they couldn't shake the feeling that the salamander's gift of light came at a cost. However, they couldn't put their finger on it. In the days that followed, Harry and Brandon returned to the river every evening, observing the salamander and its mesmerizing light show. As they spent more time at the river, they noticed other changes in the environment. Subtle shifts in the air and the landscape that seemed to hint at the cost of the salamander's gift. More and more plants started dying, and the air grew thicker with each visit. They grew more aware of the delicate balance between the beauty of the glowing river and the price that had been exacted from the world around it. One day, as they were watching the salamanders, they noticed a traveler approaching the river. The man seemed to be a biologist, judging by the equipment he carried. He introduced himself as Dr. Stanley and explained that he had been studying the unique salamanders for some time. Dr. Stanley revealed that the salamanders were not native to Willow Grove. They had inadvertently been brought to the area in his backpack after a research trip to a distant part of the world. The salamanders, thriving in their new environment, had begun to reproduce at an alarming rate. The enzymes they extracted from their bodies, while beautiful to look at, were highly toxic to the surrounding ecosystem. The contaminated water was killing off the plants and the fish, and if left unchecked, the entire area would eventually become uninhabitable. Brandon and Harry knew that they had to act. They called the newspapers and local authorities and also organized a meeting with Dr. Stanley to discuss a plan to save both the salamanders and the environment. The town's residents were alarmed by the news. The plan involved capturing as many of the salamanders as possible and relocating them to a contained environment where their natural enzymes would not pose a threat to the ecosystem. Brandon, Harry, and the residents of Willow Grove joined forces with Dr. Stanley and his team. They worked tirelessly day and night, capturing salamanders and removing them from the river. After lots of hard work, they caught most of the salamanders and moved them to a safe place. Dr. Stanley's team also found a way to clean the river and make it healthy again. The river didn't shine anymore, but the water was clear and plants and fish could live in it happily. The people of Willow Grove were really happy about saving their town and the salamanders. Brandon and Harry were called heroes by everyone. Over time, Brandon and Harry became even closer because of their adventure. They kept exploring Willow Grove and learned to care more about nature. The salamanders were now safe in their new home, and people in Willow Grove still loved watching them. Dr. Stanley stayed in town to study the salamanders and teach others about them. Willow Grove became known for caring about the environment, and everyone worked hard to keep it safe. Even though the river didn't glow anymore, Brandon, Harry, and the people of Willow Grove would always remember the special times they had by the river. They would talk about it every week, keeping its memory alive.